Remember here that both sides are going to feel pretty different on each side of your body, and also remember that that's okay. Find that strength, find that commitment to yourself, to your body. And just know that your goal here isn't to push to any point at all. Your goal is to feel good and to feel relaxed. So at any point that you feel your breath kind of quickening, you feel like your heart starts pumping a little harder, take it back a step. One more breath in. As you breathe out, gently start to draw your chin back towards your chest. You can stay just as you are, remaining again. The last time, hands can interlace at the base of your skull and your chin draws down towards your chest. Stay here for another full breath in. And slowly as you breathe out, hands can come back down to your thighs and gently bring yourself back into a neutral spine position. From here, if you're sitting on your knees like me, you'll just swing those legs out in front of you. You can bring the sole of your right foot in towards your inner thigh. The left foot can go out. I kind of like it to be out on an angle here, so maybe try that. If it doesn't feel good, it can come closer or wider. We're going to take a deep side bend. Take your left forearm, bring it to the inside of your thigh, and then reach your right fingertips up towards the ceiling. And if it feels okay in your neck, look towards your right hand. And then start to arc up, 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 and over. And if you're trying to draw your right fingertips beyond the tips of your left toes, hand does not have to meet your foot, right? This is way more of a strain than staying open. Your goal is to find an opening all the way through the outside line of the right side of your body. Maybe your hand cradles your head and you open out a little bit more. Don't be afraid to bend your knee if you need to adjust your legs if you need. And then notice if your shoulders are caving in and down. And you widen out, take up a little bit more space, deep in here. As you exhale, maybe spiral a little more open, only if that doesn't affect your breath, though. Stay for another inhale. As you exhale, release your hand, start to walk your arm or right fingertips towards your left toes, and then gently rotate through the spine. Draw your chin towards your chest, your nose towards your knee, forward fold, or kind of like a janitor shasana. Chin draws towards your chest, your sit bones are pressing down into whatever is beneath you. It might be a cushion, it might be a mat, it might just be the ground or like your bed. Doesn't really matter, right? Deep in now. As you exhale, let yourself get a little bit lower. You feel like your mind is wandering a lot, it's going back to your day, it's going forwards to tomorrow. Now, just let it be your breath. Each inhale, you find a little bit more space. Each exhale, you got a little bit deeper. Another full inhale as you are. And then another gentle exhale right here as you are in this moment. One more breath in. As you breathe out slowly, start to walk your hands all the way back up, just going towards that central position. And use your hands here to support your legs and switching sides. There's no funky secret thing today. Everything is super simple. If you can, try and keep the angle that your legs have been at approximately similar. You know that your body is not symmetrical, so it's not going to be exactly the same, but you want to have the same kind of sensation, right? Let's find that side bend to begin. Bring your right elbow towards the inside of your right knee. Now reach your left fingertips all the way up towards the sky. It's a big arc up and over right here. Reaching your fingertips beyond the tips of your toes and then widening up through your chest. If you get low enough, hey, you're going to rest your head in your hand, but you're taking some straight out of your hand. Or this back hand can just gently support the back of your head and even up and right here. Each inhale takes up a little bit more space. And each exhale helps you get just a little bit deeper. Not going to any point of pain, just letting yourself be in the sensation of your body, right? Deep breath in. Deep breath out. When you're ready, let's release that. Take your hands, bring them to either side of your right foot, rotate through your spine, and then you can let your spine round as you drape your body forwards. Right knee can be bent as much as it needs to bend right here. I even like to bend the knee enough that your belly can actually rest on top of your thigh. It's going to give you a lot more space to play into right here. So maybe try that, right? Nothing can go wrong if you just try something new. Another breath in. 
Another breath out, always coming back to the breath. One more inhale to stay right here as you are. One more exhale to just let something go. One more inhale. As you exhale, let's bring it back. All the way up to the seat. Use your hands once more to bring your legs closer together. Soles of your feet come together, knees come wide. And then just shuffle back a little bit so that my entire body is resting like on the mat. You know, on joints on hard floors, right? From here again. So you inhale, sit tall. Hold on to the arches of your feet. Don't hold your ankles or your toes, but the arches is going to give you a more solid base. And then slowly start to let yourself fold, fold, fold forwards here, drawing your chin towards your chest, rounding through your spine. You can maybe press your forearms into the inner thighs, or you can reach your arms forwards here, finding a little bit more opening through your upper back. Maybe your forearms come down towards the floor, hands come into a prayer, and your forehead gets to rest on the tips of your thumbs, just opening up and feeling your neck be supported. We're here for about five breaths. I know that if you want to pause like the video and stay for a little bit longer, you absolutely might as well just do that, right? This is your body, this is your practice, this is your time. Stay for an inhale. Stay for an exhale, let something go. More inhales you are. One more exhale as you are. The next time that you breathe out, you're slowly going to bring yourself all the way back up in towards a seated position. And use your hands to gently draw your knees back towards your center. And then if you're sideways on a mat with me, you're just going to gently roll over so that you've got some space behind you. Bring the soles of your feet towards your mat. They're going to be wider than your hips. Let your knees gently move in towards each other. Bring your hands back behind you. So knees are together, feet to wide. Gently come down to your forearms. And then gently lower down all the way over to your back. Once you lay your feet are walking closer towards your body, but your knees are going to stay pressing together for now. You try to find a little bit of an opening all the way into the outlines of your hips. Right? See how that does. Walk your feet out even wider if you have to feel anything yet. And just let the weight of your body let you come into this gentle opening. Not sure if you can see that my knees aren't actually touching it, so I'm pretty much at the limit of where I can go in my body. Knees are drawing towards each other, out of thighs are opening. Hands take a rest on your body. You might reach them up overhead, depending on what feels the best for you today. Trust that it, wherever you are, it's really where you need to be. Take another deep breath in. Take another deep breath out. And if you're ready, so you start to heel the toe of your feet in a little closer towards each other so that they are right underneath your knees, ankle and knees are stacked. And release your hands down either side of your hips. Tuck your shoulders underneath you, chest is open. Press your palms down into the floor and then slowly with an exhale start to curl your tailbone up from the ground. From there, your lower back is going to lift up, articulating vertebrae by vertebrae, mid back lifts. Upper back lifts, you're in a full lifted up bridge position, but your glutes are relaxed, right? You should have your butt cheeks, let them hang low. And then gently as you inhale, you're going to start to lower back down again, upper back, mid back, lower back. Let's just do this twice more, rolling through your spine, exhaling to lift up for four, three, two, and one, and then lower back down for four, for three, for two, and one. Last time, we'll lift up for four, lift up for three, for two, and one, and then lower down last time for four, for three, for two, and for one, once you get there, start to gently gather your knees in towards your chest. Give your knees a little hug in, and take a little rock from side to side here, so you can feel each part of your pelvis, your lower back, rooting down towards the ground. This tightness there should feel almost like you're getting a massage. When you're ready, come back to the center. Arms more open into a T-shape or cactus arms, depending on the space that you have. Knees gently fall to one side of your body. Gentle twist right here, keeping your knees stacked, 
with opposite shoulder ground sound, gaze can turn to the opposite direction. About five breaths right here. Your next exhale is gently going to bring you back through the center. Again, then, just to neutralize, you can gather your knees in towards your chest, let your hips move a little side to side, adjust them if they shifted. And then we'll find this twist to the second side. Um, start by opening up wide. Knees come to 90, and then they gently, gently fall over towards the opposite side of your body. Notice again if your knees coming closer towards you. Or if they come further away, how this feels a little bit different in each side of your body. And then widen out through your chest again. Deep, full breath in to stay. Gentle, gentle breath out to let go. One more inhale. As you exhale, gently come back here towards the center. To close up, gather your knees in towards your chest. Take a little rock from side to side. Maybe you start to draw your knees out wider so each knee goes out to each armpit. Maybe you think a little bit deeper. Hands come towards the outsides of your feet. Knees draw down, heels press up, opening out here into your happy baby. And if you feel like your spine is digging down in towards your mouth and you, Maybe move to your bed, just ground down through your pelvis. For me, it almost feels like I'm arching my spine to get the back of my pelvis on the floor. That's why I can feel like I'm the most stable and secure in this position. Maybe take a baby rock from side to side. Maybe play with straightening and bending through your knees. Stay for another inhale. Stay for another exhale, keeping hold of the outsides of your feet. Start to bend your knees, draw the soles of your feet towards each other, knees come wide. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, release your hands, bring them up towards the sky, draw your knees together, and then extend your toes up towards the ceiling and then just shake out your body. Shake out your legs and shake out your muscles, finding space, finding that awesome, awesome movement that your body has, shaking here for five. Close your eyes and your face screw up, hold it for four, shaking for three. Shaking for two, let go of all of that tension for one, and then gently let your body release down. Let yourself land where you land, just breathe right here, right now. There's any final adjustments that you need to make in your body before you rest. You can make those now. Otherwise from here, move absolutely all the time that you could need. I recommend staying here for at least five to ten more minutes. Just letting your body release, letting your day go. Knowing that by taking this time for yourself today, you're allowing yourself to prepare for a good night's sleep. You're allowing yourself to prepare for your next day, showing up for yourself, showing up for the people that are around you. As I said, please, please do stay here for at least a little while longer. This is everything that I have to offer you for this evening. Thank you so much for sharing your love and your light and your energy with me today. See you next time.